Good afternoon. My name is Steve Chappelle, and today I'll be talking about Jasper Johns, who's known as an American painter, sculptor, and a printmaker. Jasper Johns' early years. Jasper Johns was born in Augusta, Georgia on May 15, 1930. His parents divorced when he was a toddler, and then he moved to South Carolina with his grandparents. His grandparents raised him throughout his life. His grandmother's art was the only encounter with art that he had while growing up. So her art was a good, great influence on who he was and who he will become as he became an artist. Johns did study for a few years at the University of South Carolina and Columbia. And he briefly attended Parsons School of Design for a very short period of time. In 1952 and 1953, John served in the Army. He was stationed in Sendai, Japan during the Korean War. This played a major role in the patriotic style that we see in his artistry today. In 1954, Johns began to pursue artistry in a more in-depth atmosphere. He was known as an expression artist, an abstract expression artist. He also used political issues to help motivate his style. Johns also used real objects and affixed those objects to his canvases. And this was about the time when he mastered his fluid brush strokes. In John's life, there are many people that influenced influenced him. He was stated, he stated once, I learned what artists were what what artists were by observing Rauschenberg. He met Robert Rauschenberg when he was stationed in Sandai, Japan during the Korean War. The pair moved in together and shared a workspace and were each other's viewing audience when few others were enthusiastic about their artwork. John's also had several other people that influenced him, John Cage and Marshall Duchamp. In 1958, gallery owner Leo, Leo Castelli discovered John's Johns has received numerous awards throughout his career, and here are a few I'd like to mention. He received the National Medal of Arts in 1990, the Premium Imperiella in 1993, and in 2011, Johns received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. He received a retrospective at the Royal Academy of Art in 2017. And like I said, these are just a few. He re received numerous awards throughout his career. The first piece I'd like to talk about would be flag 1954 to 1955. This is one of John's first significant works. Jasper once said, one night I dreamed I painted a large American flag, and the next morning I got up and I went out and bought the materials to begin it, and I did it. This is really about the time frame when John's transitioned from abstract expressionist to non-objective art. The medium that John's used with this piece were shreds of newspaper dipped in encaustic and beneath the paint, John's used headlines and stories transfused from newspapers and articles of the time. He also used wax. This, the use of current newspapers is part of the art itself. There's an undertone of politics 
and issues that is not seen, but is part of the history behind the painting. Flag 1954, 1955 is currently displayed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, but it has also been to Philadelphia. The next piece is Target with Four Faces, 1955. Jasper used Target with Four Faces to address social issues, and the eye represents a causeway between the inner and outer knowledge. He also wanted to signify stances and perspective with Target with Four Faces. The medium he used for this piece was newspaper and cloth over canvas by four highlighted plaster faces in a wood box and a hinged front. And you can see where the, the plaster on the four faces right up top and the target. Once again, this was a different technique than others has used at the time. The different materials create various textures that enhance the sensa. The target with four faces is currently displayed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And he also has several collections within uh, the Museum of Modern Art. The final work I'd like to talk about is Flag 1965, White Flag 1965. White Flag, John wanted to symbolize hope and despair he was quoted by saying, in my early work, I tried to hide my personality, psychological state, emotions, but eventually it seemed like a losing battle. Finally, one must drop the reserve. He also stated, in my work, I've tended to take an action to do something and then to see it, that it could be done differently and then try to do it differently. The medium John used with this with white flag was encaustic oil, newsprint, charcoal on canvas. John has used several different mediums in this art with various different materials. His art tends to have a composition and texture that is his own. And even if you notice some of the textures on um, using the charcoal, the oil, such as these here. The white flag 1965 is currently displayed at the Museum of American Art in New York. I would like to conclude by stating that Jasper Johns is influential in the art world. Throughout his, his career, he tried new things when he first began, and even though when others weren't noticing him, he stuck to it. He surrounded himself around people that were great artists at the time and that were pushing him to do better things. And in turn, he is actually influencing a lot of new artists coming up in the art world. John's used old tech, odd techniques but it has inspired so many other new things. And there's been a lot of critics that wrestled with John's because he uses political surroundings. Um, as we noticed in some of the other art pieces, he used newspapers um, during the 50s and 60s, which during that time there was a lot of controversy, um, rights and, and things that were coming out at that time. He also used the patriotic symbols, such as the flags that we saw here in the artwork we displayed. There's been numerous other flags and patriotic uh, pieces that he has done throughout his career. But this, what he did was he launched a masculine expression of abstract and pop art. Like I said, he was dedicated to what he wanted to do and show, and it helped launch a new new direction in art. John's is and will always be known as an abstract expressionist and Dada. 
because he uses minimalism art and continues to grow even today as an artist. From when he was a young man starting up until who he is now today at 91 years old, he has tried many artistic, he's been, he's had many different artistic periods in his life. He repeats and collects subjects throughout his career, using them for different purposes and ends. Some of the things that happened to him back in, when he was growing up, he uses in, uses in his art today. Johns has and will always continue to play a significant role in the abstract world of art for many generations to come. Thank you very much for your time. And here's a work signing. Thank you.